Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today, with the space meta being a thing, and we've only had one banner, but that banner is a teensy tiny bit good. The units are, you know, pretty good. I wouldn't say really good, they're pretty good. But, with the advent of the masked hero, and her power, and the new Space Milam and her power, we are here to try another dumb challenge. A self-imposed torture that I would like that I like to do to myself sometimes. So we're gonna go into the EX Sky Dragon. Ungeared. I know I've done this for a few different battles, a few different conquests now. Uh, it's the Sky Dragon's turn, because it was not possible before this. Or if it was, I was not up for trying it with just Autogram Milam and Rimaru. Like, I was, I was not ready for that. But, so, you know, Milam has no gear, Milam has no gear, Lumi has no gear, Gazel has no gear, Rimaru has no gear, Milam, again, has no gear, Hero's no gear, Xion's no gear, Milam's no gear, and Ranga is no gear, and we're back up to Kabi, who has no gear to begin with. So, let's see if this is possible with the insane amount of buffs that we have on this team, because we have the alt boost, we have Space Rumor's attack boost, we have the crit boost, and we have Milam, who has her own space boost and the Drago form. So we essentially just have to survive until the Sky Dragon's defense and guard drops, and pray to god that one, we have an alt, well two alts hopefully, and that we have enough points to use all the big buffs. Because the Sky Dragon really doesn't have a lot of health. It was like 107 or something like that. So if we can get a decent turn on like turn seven or eight and we have what we need, I'm fairly confident we can do this. Fairly confident. So let's see what our first opening hand looks like. And that is, okay, that, that's, that's pretty typical right there. All right, so the first turn he poisons, which is unfortunate, but what I'm really looking out for is the attack debuff, which is super duper unfortunate. So I'm gonna go ahead and send these three Milim cards and you know get her halfway to an alt, and then next turn I'm gonna send her back. So one, she doesn't take extra damage from the poison, and two, she doesn't get attack debuffed here because I want to nuke with Milim and the hero more than anyone else. So you're going away for Windmillum now, and then I'm going to, um, let's see. Let's see, this will not get us that. This will also not get us that. If we use Valentine here, we can get there though. So that's what I'll do. So we'll use this, this, that, and then Rimuru will go last. That'll get us Cabby online next turn. 800, 1,000, and Rimuru does 3,100. Okay, so but yeah, his health bar goes down fast. It's just that now he's going to put you know defense and guard up, which, and now our attack is lowered, and Jesus, Valentine, you are having some issues, okay? Um, fun. All right, so let's use Cabby. And now let's go ahead and bring in Milam again for Milam. Yes, Milam for Milam. And then we'll bring in the hero for Valentine just so she doesn't die. And then we're gonna go ahead and send these. This will get her alt because Cabby's boosted that green. So that's good. So we have the alt for one of our characters. 1,728 damage, 801. Okay, so we're doing meh damage, but Again, they don't have their attack debuff, and Milam is poisoned for one more turn, but I'm pretty sure he poisons again, and he's about to lose his defense. Yeah, so he only has his guard right up for another three turns, but fun fact, if you didn't know, guard does not affect the damage that your alt does. Guard only affects the damage that your normal attacks do. Super guard, the way it's worded, would make you think otherwise, however... Super Guard just means you do even less damage with the normals. So if you were to ult and someone has 150% guard, or like, you know, the Mass Hero fight in the story stage, she has like, what, 300% guard? Means nothing. Means nothing. You could hit her on turn one with that guard up, and you will do the same amount of damage as you will turn two when she doesn't have the guard up. Fun fact. Education of the day. 
Uh, what a shit hand, by the way. Mm, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I think... I think... How many points do I have? 96? I think we're going to do this. You're going to go away. Uh, that's actually less... That's worse than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Uh, man. Oh, man. This is rough. This is very, very rough. Ouch. Okay, poison is gone on Valentine. Um, we have another green coming. Blues are nerfed. Oranges are nerfed. Everything is nerfed. Everything is nerfed. What do I do? What do I do here? Do I send the greens? Get points? 140? That's not great. That's not great at all. Windmelon. Uh, who can you... You're going to come in for you. That way we can just stall some more. And I would like to... Burn... Two turns. Three turns. We're burning the oranges. Okay, that's a little better. So, Cabby again... That's 180 points. Okay, the ult is coming. Reamer is about to die, so I'm going to bring in Milum. Oh, the hero might die, though. Hero might die here. Okay, uh, we're going to send this and pray we can get a good hand for Valentine next turn and live. That hurt. So did that. So did that. That's a pretty good hand, though. Okay. So let's go ahead and Valentine. You'll get in here for you. Um, we're going to go ahead and Orb Change and Heal. Because we're going to literally make it all back right here. So pop, 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 pop. What is the other one? That? No. Uh, oof. That's a hard one. Is that a high jump? No. Hold on. Will that get us? That gives maximum points. That does not get us an ult next turn, though, does it? You know what? I want to send it anyways. For science. For science. 1,900 damage right there. The 200% does 5,700. That's a decent chunk. And then this normal ult, 8,400. So that's not very good. That does get us another ult. Awesome. Not an ult for the hero, though, who I've been neglecting because she's almost dead. But we have 180 skill points now. Um, Cabby again. Can we live another turn? Can we get... That's 15 points right there. 16 points right there. Uh, ooh, yes, yeah. I can't really afford to use another orb change. This was not a good orange turn. Like, this entire fight. We're, uh, greens. Greens. What am I talking about? Hmm. You know what? For science, I want to see how much a triple buff does. Okay, so I'm going to... What's your defense at? 8,000? Okay, so I'm going to bring you in for Valentine. And we're going to triple buff here. Quadruple buff, technically. That's all the points, actually. Uh, I want to see how much damage this does. I want to see how much the Windmillum does, and then the Space Millum. So Windmillum... Probably like 14, 15, maybe 18k? <laughs> right, we're ungeared. 58.7. Oh, actually, hold on. Well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? We did it. First try. We didn't even need four buffs. We didn't even need... Oh, oh my god, look at that. Triple fangs? Well. I won twice today. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, 
definitely not the outcome I was expecting. Because I did not expect us to kill there. I actually thought we'd do a little bit less damage than that. But I guess Millen is 96. But she has no gear on. But we have type advantage. And we did have the attack boost. We had the space attack boost. We had the alt boost. And we had Drago on to increase two of those stacks. You know what? I'm not satisfied with that. I'm going to cut. And we're going to come back to a point where we do have literally everything. Because I, I want even bigger big mommy damage. So we'll be right back. But we did accomplish our goal. We did accomplish it. On the first try. I have witnesses. I'm in Discord right now. I have witnesses to this mockery of the Sky Dragon now. But we'll be right back anyways. Okay, we're back. Uh, not the uh, not the setup that I would like. <laughs> Definitely not. Because, uh, as you can see, Milliman, <laughs> Milliman and Valentine are dead. I didn't heal with Valentine, so the poison after the ult and the follow-up AoE killed them both but that gave us three alts and I did not my intent for this run was not to like n five alive this and I'm fairly confident based on the first run that triple buffing here with triple alts that are all boosted because everybody's a space unit um, this is going to hurt a lot I don't even think we're going to make it to Milam, because I'm going to send you first, and then you, and then you, and then you, and then you. Let's see if, how, how hilarious this is. So, Rimuru does 21-2. Oh, we might make it to Milam, actually. 30,000. Let's focus on Milam's going to kill here. 30,000, and then 48-7. And he's dead. Turn 7. I think even earlier than last time. And we had two people die. We didn't even have the ult boost. That's probably more impactful than, say, the, uh, I'd say the crit boost. And we got a bronze hammer. Not nearly as good as the last time. But again, like, we'll go through and we'll go right back to the screen here. And you'll see that if I go back into Soaring Winds and I go back into this team, everybody is still, well, okay. Um, everybody, come on didn't do the right. All right. Everybody is still ungeared. So we did it twice. One time with everybody living, and one time with two people dead. But we still managed to do it, and it was not what I would call difficult. Like, I only did this twice. And we beat it twice. Yes, literally everyone on this team is level 100, except for <laughs> the new Space Melon <laughs> and Cabby. Oh, and Valentine. But we still did it. And that's still the point of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, it, it doesn't prove anything. Except the power of whaling. Um, but yeah, it's entertaining. And it's a nice challenge. If you want to call it that. But yeah. There you go, guys. Take it easy. And I'll see you later. <laughs>